this? Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful, dirty, stenchy Bangkok, Thailand. It's so good to see you again. This morning, I'm having breakfast on the street. Deep fried coconuts, bananas, and something. I'm not quite sure what it is, but this guy looks reputable, so I'll eat it. Okay, it's my first ride on the sky train. This station is unique. Very few have three levels. There are usually two. As you can see the street is down there. They usually have some vendors for drinks. Of course, t-shirts. If you do not know the route, there is a route map with each stop. We are at Nana. And in this case, I believe I want to go to Siam. It looks like one, two, three stops. I have my all day, one, one day pass until, good until midnight, unlimited rides all over BTS. It was 140 baht. After you scan your ticket and pass through this security area, it's up the escalator to your train. No, no, no. Let that be a lesson to you. The door you're waiting at may not have room for you, so be ready to run to an open door that has some room. Grab your things and hang on for the ride. You get some beautiful views from up here. What is this madhouse? Disgusting, sweaty herds of people rubbing up against each other. If you hate crowds, prepare yourself. Found some stairs to walk down, and uh, I'm out. And you have to scan your ticket again to exit the station. This intersection is incredible. Check out the views from up here. And there it is, our next destination. MBK Plaza. One billion floors of shopping, 
and dining and entertainment and other various assorted activities. It's hallway after hallway after hallway of shopping and video games, expensive electronics, anime shops, pharmacies full of vitamin C. You're going to need it because you're going to get sick. Massage! They even have a hotel inside this mall in case you shop till you drop. Live crabs. Live lobster. Candies, cookies, little tiny macarons. And the only coffee bean I've seen in the entire country. And then there's this unfortunately named shop. Fake watches. If you like fake watches, don't actually shop at the little kiosks. Find this place. This guy will custom build you any counterfeit watch that you could ever want with handmade leather straps, custom engraved movements at a reasonable price. Do the wonders ever end? No, they don't. In fact, on this level, you have every single item that is sold on the streets at night markets. There's no reason to wander around the hot, humid, outdoor markets when you can do it all right here in this endless labyrinth of trinkets. And if you get hungry, this is the dining level. As far as the eye can see. And here we have the technology floor. Endless technology as far as the eye can see. Here's another view of that amazing pedestrian walkway which sits right above this giant intersection. And right above it is the Sky Train. The wonders of the city never cease. And here is our next destination, the Siam Discovery Mall. This place is another billion floors of endless shopping. Although the merch here is a little more high-end than MBK. Check out these wind-up wooden toys. Here's some Transformers and uh, Star Wars helmets. And for all of you wannabe hipsters out there, they even have an assortment of Lomography gear. Ooh, this looks like a selfie paradise. Selfie. The interior of this mall has a very upscale... What, what the f***? Sizzler? I guess Sizzler is upscale in Asia? Anyway, this mall has a very upscale feel to it. Even with a Sizzler. Check out those neon animated statues down there. And then, up on the roof is this huge animated LED display. Here's a random French bistro just hanging out in one of the hallways.
gotta love those escalators with the glass sides on them so you can see all the gears working away. And that over there looks like a food court. This was a neat restaurant with an unfortunate name. Orphanage? I mean, come on. But the interior was cool. Lots of gears and trains running everywhere. A good stop for you foamers out there. Anyway, heading back outside, we get a cool view of the triple-decker SkyTrain station, along with a very festive outdoor Chang beer garden. And there's our next destination, the Siam Paragon. More than you can afford, pal. It is the most upscale mall out of the three that we've been to. Once you pass through security, you see this beautiful display. And yes, it was for Christmas. I know it's taken me this long to get this vlog online. Thailand made me very sick for very long, but now I'm getting caught up. not every day that you see a giant Cartier box that you can walk into. More than you can afford, pal. And if Cartier is not your thing, there's Louis Vuitton over here. More than you can afford, pal. Or Panerai, perhaps uh, Frank Muller, Bulgari, IWC, Omega. More than you can afford, pal. There's even a whole watch galleria section. More than you can afford, pal. Check out this pen. It's a limited edition ST DuPont dragon pen. That's over 15,000 US dollars. More than you can afford, pal. And if you don't feel poor enough yet, you're just surrounded by this overwhelming sea of overpriced jewelry and cosmetics. It's, it's everywhere. Luckily, there's a food hall with something that you and I can afford. And then right below the food court, there's an aquarium. How awesome is this? Well, don't get your hopes up. It's uh, a little pricey. So I guess I'll be going somewhere else. Like outside this mall, ASAP. Fortunately, there is a SkyTrain station right out this door. And there goes our train, on its way to its next destination. I gotta say the views up here, on these station platforms, are breathtaking. If it wasn't for security, getting highly suspicious of this Farang, I'd spend all day up here. Anyway, I'm back at my hotel. I'm about to eat dinner at their street front cafe while I get serenaded by this guy. After dinner, I grabbed a cup of coffee at a Starbucks with tables made from recycled coffee grounds. How cool is this? If you consider staying at the Soleil or any hotel near this area, as I discovered, Uber or any of the rideshare programs do not pick up here, so I was stuck taking a taxi fraud, I mean cab, to my next destination. All right, the scenery is starting to look familiar. This is the Democracy Monument in the very center of Bangkok. Well, what used to be the center. It commemorates the 1932 Siamese Revolution. And here's where I'll be spending the night. Rambutri House. 
Time to throw down some cash and get some room keys. We've got a pretty basic room here. At least they provide complimentary toilet paper and drinking water. A very basic restroom and shower. On the plus side, it's right in the middle of the action on Rambutri Alley. Look at the size of that guy's straw. The only catch with being located in the heart of the action is that you hear about the action all night long, as evidenced from a hotel room window. <laughs> Sounds like the Vlognosis will not be getting any sleep tonight. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss a future episode. And until then, I will be here, awake.